The Marshall Fire started on the very edge of what firefighters call the wildland. But this fire was about the fingers that reached into the community. Roy Wright with the Institute for Business and Home Safety says the Marshall Fire will redefine the bounds of wildland fire preparation. His fire research team is taking a detailed look at the science to discover the fire's precise avenue for destruction. And it all starts with the fire's first move through an open space park near the point of origin. We need open space. And we need to pay very close attention to where that open space meets the neighborhood. Wright says the initial grass fire laid the foundation of heat that would spread the Marshall Fire into the urban community. His team of scientists will be looking at whether or not the addition of fuel breaks or different vegetation management in the open space could have helped slow the spread of the fire. The next factor the team looked at was the close separation between some structures once the fire reached the neighborhoods. The distance between the buildings is like 10 feet. Well, that's not enough to be honest. Researcher Faraz Hedayeti recognizes the trend to build homes closer together. He says IBHS launched a study to find the ideal distance between structures to slow fire spread. And another factor that will be studied is the building materials to see how more fire resistant materials might have slowed the fire and also how different materials might limit flying embers. Hedayeti says things like roof tiles and siding burn hotter and fly farther than vegetation embers in a forest fire. So they are more aerodynamic friendly. If you look at them, they, they look like an airplane wing. So they can really go up. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.